Phillies in. And they're off in and beyond the wire stakes. Lady Lowry, good start. Cairo Sugar asks for early zip on the outside. And Happy Clouds right there in between them, racing in third. Voodoo Mama, Juju, and Cats in the timber are next. And Wheel Seas at the back of the pack, some seven off the pace. Lady Lowry down to the inside has a neck in front from Cairo Sugar there to try to prompt her from the outside. And so it's Lady Lowry and Cairo Sugar on the outside. Take it back just a bit. Another two and a half lengths back and Cats in the timber inside of Happy Clouds. They're head to head for third. As Happy Clouds now this third, Drum Cats in the timber, fourth on the inside. Another three back to Voodoo, Mama, Juju, who has seven lengths to make up now. And we'll see, trailing the field, heading into the far turn. Lady Lowry, Cairo Sugar, still the top pair there. Front open up now by three, three and a half lengths. Happy Clouds on the inside is Cats in the Timber. Gap of seven to Voodoo Mama Juju and we'll see trailing the field. Lady Lowry leads the way still from Cairo Sugar has asked for more run. Cats in the Timber trying to move forward now from third position. Happy Clouds has run two. Happy Clouds just in behind the lead. Happy Clouds now coming on through trying to take second and taking aim at Lady Lowry. Happy Clouds switching to the outside for the final quarter of a mile. Cats in the Timber back in third and Cairo Sugar driving in fourth. They're coming to the last furlong now. Lady Lowry kicks once again, two and a half lengths as Happy Clouds loom, but second, chasing Lady Lowry home through the final furlong. Lady Lowry, Happy Clouds. Cairo Sugar very game coming back for third. Cats in the Timber is next. Here's Lady Lowry and Jack Gilligan to take the beyond the wire stakes at the second wire. Happy Clouds in third there. Cairo Sugar in the picture with Cats in the Timber. Lady Lowry here in the Beyond the Wire Stakes for Will Walden. Will, first of all, what brought, what made you bring this filly over here to Maryland? Well, to be honest, we were uh, we were actually looking at this race for a different filly in our stable, and um, 
we worked them both last week and just felt like Lady Lowry was doing a little bit better, um, that this spot would, would fit her well. And, um, you know, it's, it's five weeks from her last run. Um, we thought the distance, we wanted to answer the dirt and the distance question, obviously coming off Polly. Uh, we didn't necessarily know how it would go, but we were confident that it would go well. And now that it has gone well, now that all the, all the uh, boxes are ticked, any thoughts, provided she comes out of the race, everything's good, any thoughts of what's next? Possibly the eight bells on Kentucky Oaks Day. Okay, there we go. That's some exciting stuff here to come for Will Walden in the future.